In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Autel MaxiLink 629 Diagnostics Machine. I'm going to be unboxing the product, putting it to the test on a broken car, as well as giving my honest opinion on the product from a DIYer's perspective, as well as if it's suitable for a business that is just starting out. Stay tuned until the end to find out if it fixed the issue created in the previous video, and to see just how good the product is. What's going on guys, Will here, and today we are back with another video, and it is two weeks in a row on the trial i'm going to try and do this video maybe for two videos in a week we're not too sure yet we'll see how it goes but today's video is following on from last week's as you can see i'm in the freshly cleaned a class following on from last week's video if you haven't seen that yet go check it out i did make a huge mistake in that video so today we're going to be rectifying that using my new investment of an obd scanner now this isn't just any obd scanner this one does your abs codes and your srs codes as well so it is a bit multi-purpose and we're gonna see if it works on the codes which i flashed up last week from the silly silly mistake i made but if you do enjoy the video please remember to leave a like down below and leave a comment below letting me know your thoughts have you found a better obd scanner than this or are you going to try it out let me know down below please remember to hit that subscribe button and ding dong that notification bell that way you can stay tuned for every single upload and you'll never miss when I post. I'm going to try to be doing bi-weekly. We'll start off weekly and see how it goes and then we'll increase it if we can. I'll also leave a link to all of my other social medias, my Instagram, Twitch is on screen now and in the description down below. So go check those out. We've got a Discord server up and running now where we can get involved and, and stay tuned for every post on there as well. And I'm also meant to be streaming, but I haven't done that in a while. So yeah. I'll get back to it, I promise. I was going to be filming on that camera, but it ran out of battery. So we're doing it on the phone. So here is a look at the box. So we're using the Autel MaxiLink ML629, which is the one up from the 619. And it looked better than the AutoLink as well for only about 10, 15 pounds more. So I decided to go with this one instead. As you can see from the box, it does, it reads and erases DTCs for engine, transmission, ABS, and SRS code. So multifunctional, has the OBD2 functions, data printing, and DTC lookup. I'm not gonna be doing any of the data printing and stuff like that because that's just way above my pay grade. This is more for DIY use only. So we'll get into it. We'll see if it clears the codes that I need it to. And if it does, we'll give it a review. So let's get into it. The lighting's actually doing me quite a bit of favors. I do need another trim. This seems to be like a constant reoccurring thing, but we'll get into it. So here is the box as you can see and i have already opened this i'm not gonna like claim that i haven't i have already opened it because i have done all of the updates already and got it prepared for this let's get it unboxed so i can show you guys what's happening with it and then i'll show you what comes with it so with the unboxing fairly simple it comes in two different parts you firstly have the bag this will have all your cables in and it'll be where you steal the actual device very good quality bag i have to say and then we've got the actual device itself which come, comes out here and it literally just falls out so it's quite a it's bigger than what i thought you know so if i put it on camera there it is bigger than what i thought i thought it was you know it's like a, a massive game boy and then in here what you will have is two cables so you've got the instruction manual in here which tells you how to download all of the updates which very simple you just install the autel program you make an account and then you plug it in yeah you just download from there and it's, it's all there ready to go you don't have to do much more so for simplicity of updating it very very impressed 10 out of 10 because it is very very easy this is what you're left with two cables now you have your usb to i can't remember what this one's called but it, you have it for cameras as well this is what connects it to the computer when doing the updates and then you also have your obd2 port and then this goes into the top here so what we'll do is we'll get this put in at the top here and then we'll find this car's obd port all done ready to plug in i'll show you the code which is currently coming up on my system and then we'll plug it in and we'll see how it goes so it says front left malfunction consult workshop front right malfunction con consult workshop and that should be it we'll, we'll just skip it yeah just these two there so they're the two that we we're going to look to clear today and that is this warning code right there for those of you that haven't watched the last video where we cleaned the car the mistake i made was i disconnected the seats to clean all of the carpets thoroughly but me being me i forgot to disconnect the battery so 
it recognised that the airbags had been unplugged. Hence why the restraint system, warning lights come on and these two error messages have come on as well. So that is purely my fault. Bearing in mind a couple of weeks beforehand, I'd already paid a mechanic to fix a couple of issues on the car and they got rid of all the clothes for me by fixing the issues. So I don't know about all cars in general, but the cars that I've had, the OBD port has always been under the dash somewhere. As you can see here, there's a little flap, which I've already undone. This was shut and it will say OBD on it. You pull it down and you have your little hole for your OBD port in there. So now that it's plugged in, we have got power on here. So we can scan for engine codes. We can check OBDs and stuff like that. So let's test out a few functionalities. I don't think anything can really go wrong with it. So let's scan and see what happens. Uh, European and we have so these are all of the different cars on here so um, I'll just go through a lot of them this beep and I think you can turn it off in settings but oh well so there is quite a few on here as you can see so all the ones that we would have you've got the Audis BMWs I mean Porsches I'm not likely to own a Porsche anytime soon but as you can see they are all on here Bugatti as well not likely to own one of those soon but we want to come over to Ben's and we're going to see okay so we have an a class i think it's a w176 and it is a diesel and it is an a180 cdi blue efficiency it is so we can look at different control units let's do this one we can reclose here let's see if there's any that comes up i mean there should be there's two that come up when we start the car up there should be two codes on here i'm hoping not anymore so these are all the same ones there's about four on here and that's for the two airbags that are in there so what we'll do is we'll come back out of that and we'll erase the codes so we'll come over to erase codes and we'll erase it and we'll say yes we want to erase these codes and we'll see if that clears it from the system that was the whole point of me buying it so yeah press any key to continue yeah so that was it, I think. I think that's all we need to do to get rid of these codes. So what we'll do is before we check if it's actually worked, I'll just show you what else we can do on here. So obviously this is to check the OBDs and, and stuff like that. We've already done a scan on the car anyway. Um, but if we go into setup, we can turn this beep off. So we'll just turn that off. And then there we go. That's nice and peace and quiet. We can change what unit we're, we're uh, measuring in, whether it's English or metric? I've never heard of that one, but we'll stick with English. I don't know what metric could change it to, but there we go. Uh, we can do a key test as well to make sure that all the keys are working and an LCD test to make sure the screen's working and obviously change the language if English isn't your first language. So that's a good setup feature there. Scan as well. So if we come back, go back into scan, obviously we've done the SRS stuff. Let's just scan the car for some other stuff as well. Um, so we'll go on the right person. Oh, vehicle detect let's see if it detects the vehicle that we've got the one thing that is different on this one compared to like the launch ones that i've seen is they have the automatic vin reading which automatically brings up the car the make the model everything um i haven't seen that on this yet so i don't think it has it unless i'm missing something so there we go we can put the vin in there so we can put the vin in but it doesn't read it automatically the vin will be in either your logbook or it'll be on the front and the windscreen somewhere so you can read that anyway we know which car we've got so if we just come out of that and press escape so let's check everything else is working right so we've checked that so we'll check this as well i've then looked into the right one system pass no fault codes detected happy days the next one down is the esp system the electronic stability program click that and we'll see if anything comes up on this one and again no fault codes detected all good and then we'll check the clutch make sure the clutch is all good system pass no fault codes detected happy days so when you go into the ob2 setting you can see if there's any stored codes which have been on there historically any ones which are likely to come up and ones that are permanently on if they're permanently on they should be on the dashboard but they might not be anything pending here's stuff that might come up that means there is a potential issue but not enough to flag up yet and stored is obviously historic so as i can see here no codes are stored and nothing is due to come up so we're all good and hopefully no permanent ones yeah so we're all good on this one and we can go back and we can check all the different modules and make sure there's nothing in any of them so there's no errors that could come up in the future and like I said before, there's also a lot of other stuff that this thing can do, which I wouldn't ever use it for. I'm not trained to use it in, but we'll have a look through anyway. We'll see what it comes up with, um, just in case you guys are into that stuff as well. So we'll go through that now, but like I say, I would never use it for this. 
and probably don't know what any of it means, but let's do it. So we have the live data coming through so we can see if anything's live, I guess. Let's go for a complete list. So I guess it gives you just loads of details about the engine. Um, I don't know what most of this means, so I'm not even going to try. Uh, it's coming up with everything you could possibly want. So I'm just going to scroll through the data to show you what comes up on the live data feature. Feel free to skip the next 20 seconds if that doesn't interest you. So I guess what we should do now before we go look into the stuff with the car on, we should see if it's cleared the codes we wanted it to clear. So moment of truth, I'll flip the camera around. The whole point of this was to clear the keys going in. Turn once. Oh, no messages. So there we go. It seems if we start the car up, all of them are now cleared. This is a great result. There we go. The whole reason for purchasing this tool, it's done its job, it's worked, happy days. Let's take a look at some of the live data stuff when the car's on and we'll just go through that now. You guys can take a look at it. I'm not gonna try and explain it. There's still a little bit of a montage of me going through it because I don't know what's going on, but you guys might want to use it for this functionality. So I'll show you. guys there we have it it worked thankfully the money was not wasted it was a money well spent now i have to say i'm very impressed with this little device although it does cost a little bit to start with i would say it still does the job that you need it to do it plugs in via the obd port engine faults it reads it clears it it tells you what's wrong with it same for the srs codes same for the abs codes i personally have seen much more expensive versions of this that don't have the same sort of diversity across all cars that this one does and i wanted it for that because yes the problem i've got now is with the mercedes but we're selling the mercedes so we we needed it to be cross compatible i, I was looking at the the r cut the i car soft ones but they could only do like one individual one on certain certain programs will let you do one sort of car and then that was it and then you'd have to get another one unless you pay like 200 300 pounds for the one that does all of them and i was thinking that's so extortionate but this little thing from autel does them all might not have every single car in the world on there so please go check on the website if it does yours that's what i did they have a link on there with all of their products and you go over to their support functions you put in the product that you want to buy and it tells you every single product that it supports and this happens to have all the cars that we currently have so so I think this is a great investment. There's a wide variety of cars on there. So if we do get a car in the future, chances are it's going to be on there. I would give this product a 10 out of 10 purely off the basis that we've solved the problem today that we needed to solve. And it does everything from a DIYer's perspective of what I would want it to do. Maybe if you're a mechanic or you're trying to start out, I don't know if this would, I'm not a mechanic, so I don't know if this would do what you need it to do. You can be the judge of that. But definitely if you're looking to start out and you're just looking to clear codes and fix small issues on a car, this is your product. This is your product. And I'm not even sponsored. I wish I was because I'd have got this for free. But set me back £105. I think it's £115, but I had a £10 gift voucher. So I think it's about £115. I'll put a link down below to the product that I purchased. That way you can do the same if you so wish. I think that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Mission is successful. Go buy the product if you need something that clears codes and it is compatible with your car because this does the job. But that is going to be the end of the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Catch you guys in a few days or next week. Whatever upload schedule I'm doing, I'm looking to do definitely weekly, potentially twice a week in the future. We'll see how that goes. So I'll see you guys in the next one. We've got some really exciting videos coming up in the next few weeks. So please, please hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss the uploads. I promise you, you won't want to miss it because we may have made a little bit of an investment. Just a little bit. Let me know your thoughts on the Autel down below. Does it look to do what you need it to do? Have you purchased it? What's your experiences with it? I'd love to know. Comment down below. And I'll see you guys next week. Take care. Peace out.